record breaker with more ranking titles than any other in history with 37. He's a seven time Masters and UK champion and the six time champion of the world, the Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan. Imagine a player so good that he's known as the Rocket. Now imagine that same player battling his own demons while still managing to rewrite the history books. That's Ronnie O'Sullivan. For over 30 years, he's taken snooker to heights no one thought possible. And along the way, he's faced down challenges that would have broken most. This isn't just a highlight reel of wins and titles, it's the story of a man who's redefined what it means to be the best. Let's get right in. Early Life and Introduction to Snooker Ronald Antonio O'Sullivan was born on December 5, 1975 in Wordsley, West Midlands, England, but grew up in the suburban area of Chigwell, Essex. His father, Ron O'Sullivan Sr., was a wealthy businessman who owned a chain of sex shops, which afforded the family a comfortable lifestyle. However, this wealth came with its own set of challenges including a darker side that would later impact Ronnie's life significantly. From a very young age, Ronnie displayed an extraordinary talent for snooker. His father, recognizing this talent, installed a snooker table in their home, and Ronnie quickly took to the game. My dad got me a table, and I weren't allowed to play on it until Christmas. And we had it in for two weeks, and he kept saying, no, no, you're not playing on it. And I used to cry, and he used to play all his mates. By the age of seven, he was already showing remarkable skill, and by ten, he had made his first century break, a milestone that signaled his arrival as a prodigy in the sport. His natural ability to read the game, combined with his fast-paced play, earned him the nickname The Rocket. However, Ronnie's childhood was far from idyllic. In 1992, when Ronnie was just 16, his father was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder following a bar fight. This event was a significant blow to the young O'Sullivan, who had been extremely close to his father. Adding to the turmoil, his mother Maria was convicted of tax evasion and imprisoned for a year shortly after. These events could have derailed the young snooker star's burgeoning career, but instead, they seemed to fuel his determination to succeed. I'll go out and do, do what I do best and that's play snooker. And if I win a tournament this year, be definitely from your dad. Turning professional and early success In 1992, at the age of 16, Ronnie O'Sullivan turned professional. His debut season was nothing short of extraordinary. O'Sullivan won 74 of his first 76 matches, including a record 38 consecutive victories. His rapid playing style, combined with his innate talent, immediately marked him as a future star of the sport. The Stuka world took notice, and the young player quickly earned the moniker The Rocket, a nickname that would follow him throughout his career. O'Sullivan's first major breakthrough came in 1993, when he won the UK Championship at just 17, becoming the youngest player ever to win a professional ranking event, a record that still stands today. The UK's new snooker champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan, arrived at Gartree Prison for what he described as an emotional visit. This victory was not just a win, it was a declaration that a new era in snooker had begun, with O'Sullivan at the helm. His performance in the final against the reigning world champion Stephen Hendry, whom he defeated 10-6, was a clear demonstration of his prodigious talent. However, his early career was also marked by controversy. In 1996, during the World Championship, O'Sullivan was involved in an incident where he assaulted a press officer, leading to a suspended two-year ban and a £20,000 fine. In snooker, Ronnie O'Sullivan is given a suspended two-year ban for assaulting a tournament official. Despite these challenges, O'Sullivan's talent on the table was undeniable. In 1995, he won the Masters at the age of 19 becoming the youngest Masters champion in history, further solidifying his status as a rising star in the sport. The Rise to Stardom The late 1990s and early 2000s were a period of significant growth and success for Ronnie O'Sullivan. 
1997, he achieved one of the most remarkable feats in snooker history by compiling the fastest 147 break, completed in just 5 minutes and 8 seconds during the World Championship. This record-breaking performance was not only a testament to his incredible skill, but also to his ability to perform under intense pressure. It remains one of the most iconic moments in the history of snooker. In 2001, O'Sullivan won his first World Championship title, defeating John Higgins 18-14 in the final. This victory was a watershed moment in his career, marking his arrival as a dominant force in the sport. With Ray Reardon, a six-time world champion, acting as his coach and mentor, O'Sullivan's game reached new heights. He followed up his world championship victory with another in 2004, where he defeated Graham Dot 18-8 in the final, further cementing his position as one of the sport's top players. Despite his on-table success, O'Sullivan's personal life continued to be turbulent. His battles with depression and substance abuse were well documented and often played out in the public eye. These struggles added to the complexity of his public persona, making him one of the most compelling and, at times, controversial figures in the world of sports. You know, I have to do what's best for me, what makes me happy, without driving people mad about it, you know, and just make a decision and do it. Nevertheless, his ability to overcome these personal demons while continuing to perform at the highest level only added to his legend. The Golden Years the mid-2000s to the early 2010s can be considered the golden years of Ronnie O'Sullivan's career. This period saw him not only establish himself as the best player of his generation, but also as one of the greatest in the history of the sport. In 2008, O'Sullivan won his third World Championship title by defeating Ali Carter 18-8 in the final. This victory was significant as it demonstrated his ability to maintain his dominance despite the emergence of new talents. During these years, O'Sullivan's approach to the game was marked by a mixture of brilliance and unpredictability. His rapid playing style, combined with his ability to execute seemingly impossible shots, made him a fan favorite and brought a new level of excitement to the sport. However, his behavior off the table continued to raise concerns. His ongoing battle with clinical depression, which included episodes of erratic behavior, led to questions about his future in the sport. I listen to myself now and I just think, what's happened to me? And I feel like I've been so hard and down on myself that I've kind of ripped out any joy that was in me. In 2012, O'Sullivan took a break from professional snooker to focus on his mental health and well-being, raising questions about whether he would return to the sport. The Comeback and Continued Dominance Ronnie O'Sullivan's return to professional snooker in 2013 was nothing short of miraculous. After taking an extended break from the sport, he returned to the World Championship and successfully defended his title, defeating Barry Hawkins 18-12 in the final. This victory was particularly impressive, given that O'Sullivan had played only one competitive match in the entire season leading up to the championship. His ability to step back into the sport and perform at the highest level after such a long hiatus was a testament to his unparalleled skill and mental resilience. In the years that followed, O'Sullivan continued to add to his legacy. In 2012, he won his fifth Masters title and his fifth UK Championship, becoming the most successful player in the history of the Triple Crown events. His dominance in these prestigious tournaments further cemented his status as one of the greatest snooker players of all time. Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. In 2020, at the age of 44, O'Sullivan won his sixth World Championship, defeating Kyron Wilson 18-8 in the final. This victory made him the oldest world champion in the modern era and demonstrated that even as he approached the twilight of his career, O'Sullivan remained a formidable force on the snooker table. Two years later, in 2022, he captured his record-equaling seventh World Championship title by defeating Judd Trump 18-13, tying him with Stephen Hendry for the most World Championship wins in the modern era. I didn't want Ronnie to win seven. Of course I didn't. But when I was watching him, I felt like almost a little bit of pressure off, almost. 
It's almost like, okay, he's going to get it now. During his comeback, Ronnie O'Sullivan not only focused on his physical fitness, but also made significant lifestyle changes to improve his mental well-being. His passion for running became a critical part of his routine, with O'Sullivan often running up to 10 miles a day. This dedication to running was about more than just staying in shape. It was a way for him to clear his mind, manage his mental health, and deal with the pressures of professional snooker. Moreover, O'Sullivan adopted a more selective approach to the tournaments he chose to participate in. After years of playing almost every major event, he began to focus on a few key tournaments each season, prioritizing his mental and physical health over a relentless pursuit of titles. This strategy allowed him to extend his career and remain competitive well into his 40s, culminating in his record-tying 7th World Championship in 2022. Personal Life and Off-Table Interests While Ronnie O'Sullivan's career on the snooker table is legendary, his personal life is equally fascinating. His struggles with addiction and mental health have been well documented, and he has been open about the challenges he has faced. These issues have sometimes overshadowed his achievements, but they have also endeared him to fans who appreciate his candor and resilience. O'Sullivan has been married twice. His first marriage was to Joe Langley, with whom he has two children, Lily and Ronnie Jr. After their divorce, O'Sullivan began a relationship with actress Leila Ruas, and the couple became engaged in 2013. Despite his personal challenges, O'Sullivan has always credited his family for providing him with the support he needed to overcome difficult times. Outside of snooker, O'Sullivan has a wide range of interests. He is an avid runner and has competed in numerous marathons and charity races. Running has been a crucial part of his life, helping him maintain his mental health and physical fitness. O'Sullivan is also a keen writer and has authored several books, including crime novels and autobiographies that offer insights into his life and career. Additionally, he has dabbled in music, releasing an album where he played the drums, showcasing his versatility and passion for the arts. O'Sullivan is also known for his philanthropy and activism. He's used his platform to raise awareness for mental health issues and addiction, drawing from his own experiences to help others. His openness about his struggles has helped destigmatize mental health issues in the sports world and encouraged others to seek help when needed. Controversies and Challenges Ronnie O'Sullivan's career, while filled with extraordinary achievements, has also been marked by numerous controversies and challenges. Known for his outspoken and often unpredictable nature, O'Sullivan has frequently found himself at odds with snooker's governing bodies, fellow players, and even the media. One of the most infamous incidents occurred during the 1996 World Championship, when O'Sullivan assaulted a press officer after a match. The incident led to a suspended two-year ban and a £20,000 fine. This early controversy set the tone for what would be a career punctuated by both brilliance and volatility. In addition to his behavioural issues, O'Sullivan has been open about his struggles with mental health, including bouts of clinical depression. These struggles often manifested in erratic behaviour both on and off the table. At times, O'Sullivan's mental health issues led to him taking extended breaks from the sport, leading to speculation about whether he would return to his top form. My, I feel absolutely bashed up. I feel bashed up, Steve. I feel bashed up. I don't feel like I can make 20 when I get in the balls. I don't. I feel better than I did. I feel a bit calmer. I still feel like when I'm a month, I'm thinking there's lots that can go wrong here. Despite these challenges, O'Sullivan has consistently demonstrated resilience. His ability to bounce back from these setbacks, whether personal or professional, has only added to his legendary status. For example, after his self-imposed sabbatical in 2012, many doubted whether he would return to the sport at all, let alone at the top of his game. Yet in 2013, he returned to win the World Championship proving his critics wrong and reaffirming his place at the pinnacle of the sport. O'Sullivan's relationship with the media has also been a source of controversy. Known for his candid and sometimes abrasive comments, he has often criticised the state of the game, 
the pressures of the professional circuit and even his own performances. These remarks, while controversial, have also highlighted the intense pressure that top-level athletes face and have sparked important conversations about mental health in sports. Moreover, O'Sullivan's battles with addiction, particularly during the early years of his career, added another layer of complexity to his public image. He has openly discussed his struggles with drug and alcohol abuse, which he has linked to the immense pressures of his career and personal life. His openness about these issues has not only humanized him in the eyes of many fans, but has also contributed to the broader discussion on mental health and addiction in the world of sports. In recent years, as O'Sullivan has approached the twilight of his career, he has become more reflective and has taken a more selective approach to the tournaments he competes in. He has spoken about the need to balance his love for the game with his mental and physical well-being, often choosing to skip events that do not align with his priorities. This pragmatic approach has allowed him to continue competing at a higher level while also managing the demands of his career. In conclusion, while Ronnie O'Sullivan's career has been marked by controversies and challenges, these aspects of his life have only added to his legend. His ability to overcome adversity, coupled with his unparalleled skill on the snooker table, has solidified his status as one of the greatest snooker players of all time. Despite the ups and downs, O'Sullivan's legacy in the sport is secure, and his story serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of immense challenges. And that's it for this video. Let us know what we missed in the comments. For more snooker content, click on the screen right now.